Hi YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Wanted to come in and see how everybody was doing and um, I got tagged, Marnie Causey tagged me in a, I can't remember the name of it now, but I did bring my phone so I can bring that up and I think it's the interview tag, I'm not sure. So let's get into it. First I want to show you my outfit of the day. Hang on, let me find that uh, tag. Oh my. Okay, I know I have it. I hope, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, here it is, okay. Yeah, it's the interview tag. And the most beautiful Marnie Causey. She thinks she's not beautiful, but I think she's gorgeous. So, let me show you my outfit of the day. I have, I don't know what the names of these are, but I've had this since last summer, summer, no, summer before last. I tend to keep my clothes forever. <laughs> I just do. So, let me show you my outfit. I'm going to put you back here so I can walk over here. It's just a pair of shorts today. I'm going to, whoa, I'm going to Walmart um, to pick up my contacts and my glasses that I ordered. Um, and then I have shoes on to match. I think, I can't see if you all are seeing that or not. But anyway, shoes to match, shoes to match, and fat legs and all that. So anyway, Let's get to the tag. Um, sorry the lighting's not as good today. The sun, well, make a liar out of me, son. Okay, let me get this where I can see it. Okay, the, num the first question is, how did it feel to make your first video? Well, for me, oh, it's hot out here, girls. Uh, for me, it was very scary. I had my daughter uh, saying, yeah, mom, do it. You can do it. I'll help you. And um, so, yeah, I made that first video and it was scary, very scary, but rewarding. Um, did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded it? No. I didn't even look at it. I just uploaded it. I didn't know anything about editing and still don't know anything about editing. Girls, we may have to move this inside. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm not glowing. I'm sweating. I am glowing, but I'm getting sweat beads all over me. Yeah, I didn't even show it to anybody. Uh, I didn't even show it to myself. Okay, number three, do your friends and family know about your channel? Yes, they do. Some of my friends, well, I really don't have any friends other than you girls on YouTube. Um, my family, a lot of them knows, and a lot of them are subscribed to my channel, probably five or six of them. My children are subscribed, my daughters are subscribed, my granddaughters are subscribed. A few of my great nieces and nephews are subscribed. My sister is subscribed but does not watch. So, number four. Are any of your friends and family subscribed to your channel? I just answered that. Number five, did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber? Um, my husband and my sister. Um, six, how and why did you choose your YouTube channel name? At first, I, my YouTube channel name was Coal Miner's Wife. Um, Coal Miner's Wife and because my identity has always been my husband's. Everybody always called me Rainy's wife. Uh, nobody ever called me by my name and they just Rainy's wife. If someone seen me out, they'd say, how's Rainy's wife doing? I'd say, Rainy's wife's fine. Um, so I chose coal miner's wife because my husband was a coal miner. And um, that's what I chose. And later on, my oldest granddaughter said, Mama, they call me Mama. Mama, you are a coal miner's wife, but 
your channel is about makeup and you know beauty and so much more bling and all that stuff so why not call yourself glitzy granny or glitzy grandma and I said how about granny she said yes but you are glitzy she said so you have to have glitzy granny so that's how my name was chosen um, what number seven what have you gained from being a youtuber number one number one is I've gained friends people that I can talk to I never had anyone before both of my friends as you all know uh, died when uh, they died one died a few months before my son um, well actually the first one died about a year before my son. Um, the other one died um, just a few months before my son. And then my son died. So I, my oldest daughter, I was sitting around crying all the time. Nothing to do because I sat with a 94-year-old woman. I stayed with her. I, I stayed with her five days a week sorry for the noise from the road um, I stay with her five days a week 24 hours a day and I have a lot of time and I wasn't doing anything with that time and I was just sitting around oh my goodness my hair is falling and everything I was sitting around thinking about all the good times I had with my son all the crazy things that he done the music that we shared I never listened to music after he died. A lot of the music that we listened to, it was lost to me because I couldn't stand to hear it. I thought of him. He would call me sometimes at two o'clock in the morning and say, Mom, Mom, you gotta hear this song. And my husband would get so angry. But that's just a love that we shared. And, you know, he couldn't wait till the morning. He wanted me to hear it right then. We shared that love of music. So, my oldest daughter said, Mom, start a YouTube channel. It'll give you something to do. And I find myself falling behind this month because this is my son's birthday month. Uh, July 26th, he would have been 43. And I miss him very much. Moving on. Um, number eight, are you interested in doing giveaways? Yes. I want to eventually do giveaways when my channel get, grows a little more and um, not because I want um, more followers or more friends. I do want more friends, the more the merrier, but I feel like I, I want to make a little money from my channel and use that money to do my giveaways. Because right now, I just can't afford to do giveaways. So, um, I do buy things and I'm saving them up to do a giveaway when I reach. Um, I'm hoping to, by the end of the year, at least reach 500 followers. Um, followers are on in, uh, Instagram. I'm talking about my subscribers that I know are becoming very good friends, my friends on YouTube. When I get to 500, and I'm hoping to get to 500 friends before the end of the year, and I know we have to call them subscribers sometimes, and I don't want to, I really want you all to become my friends. I do consider you my friends. A lot of you, when you know I'm having a bad day, you, you, um, some of you call me, some of you send me emails, some of you private message me to make sure I'm okay. Some of you tell me on my videos, and this video is getting very long, some of you tell me on my videos that you're praying for me, and that means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Um, number nine, do you allow subscribers to send you gifts? I've noticed, um, do I allow subscribers to send me gifts? Um, I haven't had any subscribers send me gifts, um, but I guess if they wanted to, 
I wouldn't stop them. I mean, you know, um, if I want to send one of you all a gift, then I don't want you to say no to me because then you're um, messing with my blessing that I want to be a blessing to you or with something that I want to do. Usually when people send you gifts, it's because they love you and because they want to show you how much they love you. Now, I'm not saying that people doesn't love me because they, didn't, they don't send me gifts. I know there's people that loves me and they haven't sent me anything, but, and I, ha I have got the stickers from K.O. This Artist and that I consider as a gift. So I've got that gift from K.O. This Artist and, um, I love my stickers and my things that she sent me. Um, number 10, how do your kids feel about the, their mom being on YouTube? They, my girls think it is fantastic. They love it because mom's doing something and not being in her funk. Uh, number 11, how do you choose your topics? Okay, well sometimes my, my, friends choose my topics, like um, Marnie chose to tag me, and so I'm doing this. Um, sometimes they just fall in my lap. Um, I have one of my friends that wants me to do a video on my rolling pins and why that I uh, collect them. So that's going to be a video that I'm going to do. Um, number... 12. Uh, would you consider collaborating with others to make videos? Um, yes, I would, and I have. I've done a collab with uh, Marnie Causey and Winder Payne Wendy. Um, number 13. Anybody else wants to do a collab with me, please um, private message me and we'll do a collab. Um, Sherry A and I have planned to do a collab. We haven't decided what we want to collab on yet. So we're going to do a clap. And um, 13. Other than makeup and fashion, what do you like to watch on YouTube? Well, I like to watch art. I like music. Uh, mostly makeup and... Mostly makeup and fashion. So, yeah, I, makeup is my passion. Makeup and passion. I mean, fashion and passion, that goes together. Okay, and I'm sweating. Um, 15. Uh oh. 13. No, 14. Have you ever uploaded the wrong video? No, I haven't uploaded the wrong video. Never. Because uh, I just haven't. <laughs> Which uh, do you prefer, filming alone or filming with others in the room? In the beginning, I did not like my husband to be around when I was filming. And now I don't care. He can be around, I don't care. He tells me, you say um too much, you say um too much. Well, tough. If he don't like it, he don't have to watch it and go in the other room. When you all start complaining, then I'll look up, but he complains about everything, so I'm not, he, his, his opinion doesn't count to me. Um, number 16, you don't have to give names, but are, are there any YouTubers that just irk you? If so, what about then, what about them that irk you? Um, no, none of the people I watch are me. because what I, here's how I look at that. If you don't like what someone is saying or don't like what I'm talking about or I don't like what someone else is talking about, I just don't watch. Why should I, why should I diss on somebody or go and say, oh my God, I don't like the way she did this or like the way she done that. Um. I just don't watch them. So that's that's the way I go with that. Now, I do have to say there's one person that irks me. I, I just thought of that. 
she doesn't really irk me. It's just, I think she acts snooty. I don't like snooty people. Snooty people irk me. So, but I still watch her, but I don't talk about her either. But I just answered that question. Um, and that's all that we'll be saying about that. Um, okay, 17. What is some general advice you would give to someone wanting to start a, um, start a channel? Go for it. Just jump in with both feet and do it. You'll meet the kindest, nicest people you'll ever want to meet. I mean, I have. I haven't found anyone that's been mean to me. Um, I've heard of people being mean to other people, but so far, everyone has been just so kind and, and nice to me. I just, you know, I got the best friends in the world. I do, I really do. Um, number 18, have you thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website? No. Um, what are some opportunities that you have gotten because of YouTube? My opportunities have been friends. Uh, I haven't had any companies call me or they're not beating down my door. Now Vogue, you know Vogue is on, they're after me. Look at this. Vogue is after me. No, I'm just joking. Nobody's beating down my door. Nobody's wanting me to... Um, I have friends. I have friends now. I've gotten friends that I can call and say, I'm having a bad day, or I can text and say, I'm having a bad day, and they're, they get me through that bad day. I can go and read comments, and they get me through that day. So, excuse me a minute. I, so, that is my benefit, is all my friends that I have met, all the people that, um, have come along with me on my journey. Um, number 20. When you first started, how did you get the word out that you were making videos? Did you just upload and hope for the best, or did you connect with fellow YouTubers? When I first put a YouTube channel up, I didn't know the first person on YouTube. I just uploaded that baby and hoped for the best, told all my family and friends, and then I started commenting on other people's videos, and other people started coming, and I guess word of mouth, because I didn't do anything but upload that first video. And it was a John Frieda hair product that I still use to this day I love. So that's the 20 questions. So I'm sweating like a pig. Let's see if y'all like my eye look. What do you think? I know, call Vogue. If anybody out there has any um, connection to Vogue, you better call them. I'm telling you, call them. Um, I don't think I've got any new wrinkles. These are all the old ones that I've already had. No new ones to speak of. I, ha I don't need to introduce you all to no new ones. I don't want no new ones, but if I get a new one, I'll introduce you. Okay, so there we go, Marnie. And I tag Kaothis Artist. So she's going to go and um, come on and do her little uh, tag. So I'll be looking forward to seeing her tag. Hope you all have a great day. I tagged some other women, but I don't know that they'd want to do the tag, like Joe, one, I can't remember all of her numbers, but Joe, one, two, three, six, eight, whatever your last numbers are, Joe, I tag you if you want to do it. Um, I know there's some people doesn't do tags, so I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but I've already talked to Kat. She said she'd do it for me, do a tag, so she's going to do the tag. Um, I love you guys. Hope you'll stick a thumb up in the air. Come along with me on my ride. Share me around. I want to travel, and that's the only way that I'm going to get to do it. I 
hope that you will leave me a comment because I love reading your comments. It makes me feel close to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I want to say, take it after Glitzy Fritzy. Go out and be a blessing to someone. Bye.